Hello and welcome again. I think it's time we look at the generalized version of uh, the division algorithm. Uh, the generalized version on, only says that you can also divide by non-zero numbers. It could be negatives. And of course, we knew that already. Uh, but the general division algorithm says that you also have unique integers q and r, q for quotient, r for remainder. So you have this equality here, which basically said you have a dividend divisor, and then you get a quotient and remainder. And of course, this important inequality uh, that you see here, uh, the one uh, there, this one, in this case, r is either zero or positive, and it should be less than the absolute value of b. So that's the difference if we allow b to be negative. The condition here should be r less than the absolute value. Now, uh, how is this uh, in Java? So there are good news and bad news. The good news is that there are a couple of methods in Java that allows you to calculate the quotient q and the remainder r. And the bad news, they don't actually work exactly the way you think they will work with the division algorithm. And I will explain that uh, in a second. So in Java, so in Java, the slash is the method that you will use to compute the quotient uh, between two integers. And I put quotient here in quotation uh, because it doesn't work exactly well when you have negative numbers. And I'll go into that point. So whenever you have integers a and b, and you say a slash b, that will give you the quotient of a divided by b, of course, as long as b is not equal to zero. So a simple example uh, could be something like this. So you have uh, here uh, 16 divided by uh, 3. Uh, the quotient is 5, of course. So you don't remember, let's go ahead and do it. So you have here uh, 16 divided by 3, the quotient will be 5, and then you multiply 5 by 3, you get 15, you subtract from 16 and you get 1. So in this case, what you get here is, of course, you get uh, the 5 is the quotient, and this one is the remainder. Uh, the same is going to happen in Java, actually. So if we create a very simple program that computes the uh, the quotient of two integers, that will be actually very easy to do, and I will show you that in the Eclipse application. Okay, this is the Java application that will uh, compute the quotient between two integers. So in this case, what I have here is I have uh, the first variable is the dividend that I'm going to be defined as 16 is an integer variable. I also have the other variable, which is the divisor. It's also an integer. And I'm going to set it uh, up to 3. And of course, I have the quotient here, uh, which is also an integer. And it's going to be the dividend slash the divisor. Now, remember that that slash means a quotient as long as a and b uh, or the dividend and the divisor are positives. And the last line that I see, that you see here in this uh, program, this last line, this whole thing, uh, that's just to, to print out the answer. So you can see here this, the quotient of in quotation quotation marks is just uh, a string of characters. Uh, the dividend is whatever value I assign to the dividend here, which is an integer value, divided by this also a string of characters. And the divisor is whatever I assign to the divisor, which in this case is 3. And the rest is also pretty much the same. It's just a string of characters. And quotient is a dividend slash divisor. So if I go ahead and run this, uh, of course, what's going to happen here is that I'm going to get 5. So, uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to run it. And as you can see, there is uh, the problem is saying that the quotient of 16 divided by 3 is 5. And nothing is special there. It is doing what it's supposed to be doing. So the 5 here is the quotient that, you, uh, that we get from the division of 16 divided by 3. Now, this is working very well. And the reason it works well is because the dividend here and the divisor are both positives. 
So they agree with the division algorithm. Now, if the dividend and the divisor are not positive, well, at least one of them is not, then this slash is not doing the same as the division algorithm. Uh, now, again, I'm not saying that the slash is uh, incorrect in Java. What I'm saying is that it does not agree with the division algorithm. And what we want is something that agrees with the division algorithm that actually computes the quotient between two integers. And I will show you an example of that uh, in a second. Uh, let's look now at division with negative numbers. As we saw in an earlier example, uh, we know what the answer for this is, uh, negative 1 divided by 26. So we have a quotient, we have a remainder. Let me do it again here. If you want, you can go back to that video and recall what that was. So the quotient was uh, negative 1. So you go ahead and multiply negative 1 by 26. And of course, that gives you uh, negative 26. But remember, you have to subtract, so it's minus minus 26. If you do that operation, that's going to give you 25. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to a little bit faster here because we did that example already. So in this case, the quotient will be this guy here, the negative 1. So this is the quotient. And I know that has to be the answer. And the reason that has to be the answer is because we have this theorem here, all the way up here, that says that whenever you have two integers, one, that the divisor is not equal to 0, you will always get unique integers q and r. So the q there, the quotient that satisfy this equality and this inequality, those two things, if they're satisfied, that had to be unique. Now, you can go ahead and check that uh, in this particular example, negative 1 divided by 26, they satisfy the conditions. I'm not going to do it again because we actually did that example a while ago. Now, how is this going to work in Java? Now, if Java agrees with the division algorithm, then the quotient in Java should be negative uh, 1. But as I will show you in, in the Eclipse uh, program, that's not going to be the case. So in Eclipse, we're going to get a different answer. So let's go back to Eclipse and see what Eclipse says about that. So I'm back here in Eclipse, and as you can see, I have exactly the same numbers I had before, but we are looking at a different example now. So I'm going to change my dividend here. I'm going to change it to negative 1 because we are saying negative 1 divided by 26. So I'm going to change this to a negative 1. And my divisor will be now 26. So we're going to get to the, the quotient. So the quotient is the dividend divided by the divisor. So it's going to be negative 1 divided by 26. So I'm going to save it. And I'm going to run it. So once I run it, then, of course, the this variable here, quotient, will be updated with the value of negative 1 slash uh, 26, which will be the quotient. And remember that quotient, according to the division algorithm, should be uh, negative 1. But in the case of Java, uh, something else is happening. So if I run it here, as you can see there, the quotient of negative 1 divided by 26 is 0. So Java is saying that that division is 0. Uh, there's a reason for that, and the reason is because Java is implementing that quotient in a different way. It's not doing the way that the division algorithm is saying, it's doing something different. But because we are doing a mathematics here, we need to have a method that computes the real quotient. So that won't be the one that we will be using. Now, this is okay, this is slash method is okay. As long as you're dealing with positive numbers, it will agree with the division algorithm. But if you do negative numbers, that's not going to be the case. So we have to correct that. 